having a secure authentication or authorization is one of the core of any software but when you're trying to launch your app as soon as possible and get it in front of your users the last thing you probably want to do is spend hours on implementing a custom auth so in this video i'm going to share how you can add authentication within few minutes to your app with a tool called clerk here i have a basic next.js application with just a few lines of code but it should work the same as react few or any other javascript based uh, frameworks and this only shows these two cards one for public and one for the private by the end of this video our goal will be to make this uh, card uh, hidden from the public so only authenticated users should uh, be able to view this card to get started you need to have an account in clerk so i'll just sign in since i already have an account and you should see your dashboard here here you can create a new application uh, let's just name youtube now great thing about clerk is like they have all these uh, social logins uh, out of the box so you can just check whichever you want so let's say google is by default check so let's say we also want github so do that create application and your development setup is done and they also give you instructions for all the major javascript framework so that's also pretty cool uh, since we're using next we'll stick to this uh, we have to in install this next package from clerk we go ahead and do that now they also give you some secret keys you can copy and paste this in your local env file next you have to wrap your uh, application with a cloud provider now since we are using next 14 uh, an app router will be following this but if you are using an older version uh, you'll probably want to check out the page routes so uh, we'll copy this go to layouts import clerk and then wrap our whole html with the clerk provider now the last thing we need to do in terms of setup is adding this in the middleware but the problem is this is a deprecated method so i don't know why they haven't changed it on the uh, on the ui yet so we need to go to the docs yes we need this part uh clark middleware and some configs so we'll copy this uh, create a middleware in the source paste that in and this just config just make sure uh, that clark doesn't run on our static files and it runs on the page and the api files and that's pretty much it in terms of setup so now we can use all the features that clark provides to get our current user you can check out the docs and read user and sessions and you can see they have this uh, current user method you can import from clark next and server that you can use to check if the user is authenticated or not so we'll just do that import current user clark and we just set the setup variable so now we'll check if the user exists then only uh, show the private code so we'll just wrap this in user there's an error or oh, it's a promise so we have to await this now if you go to our app you can see the private code is hidden because we are not authenticated yet so we can import uh, some nice buttons that Clark provides like sign in button and that would give us a sign option where you can go and access your sign in 
uh so yeah as we check github and google we can use both we'll just go at google okay my email continue see now we are logged in it was as easy as that so since we are logged in we can see the our name the, you know what the good thing would be since we are already logged in we don't sh we shouldn't see the sign in option right so we we'll just add another option where if the user is logged in we will show the sign out option and if he is not then only we show the sign in button so now we should see the sign out option and you can also like just to make sure if everything is working uh we can see have another text that will say your name i user dot first name i think we can also wrap this in the condition if user exists Obviously, this is probably not the best logical thing I'm doing here in terms of code quality, but I'm just showing how you can use Clark for authentication. So you can just customize it as your own in your own code base. So now you can see, uh, since I'm logged in with my Arif account, it says hi Arif, and I'm being able to see both public and private route, uh, private cards. If I want to sign out, I can just sign out, and it will sign me out, and I'm not able to see the private options and now if you go to the dashboard you can see there's one total user and one active users and i can see myself here right so if you go to users every user who signs in uh, you'll be able to see them here now this is good enough for development right as you see right now we are in development to do, go into production you need to do some more configurations so let's go to production you can create a default instance or just clone the development instance so we'll just do that and here you just have to like do some settings for your own domain so let's say you have a domain called example.com uh, you can do those here uh, i'm not just going to do that because i'm it's just a tutorial video but yeah you can just it's super easy just follow along to their docs and give your email and they will give you some options that you need to add into your emails and that should be pretty much it and also the last thing is uh, remember when you sign in here to have social logins you need to have OAuth keys right right now Clark gives you uh, some default their own uh, OAuth keys to make this work in the development mode but obviously when you go to production you need to you have your own keys right so I just switched to my different project makers tracker uh, just to give you guys an example of how things work uh, so if you go to uh, social connections the so google and all same here google and github is connected so you have to go in and add, give your client and secret keys that you will get from their OAuth options so yeah that's pretty much it uh that's how by using clerk you can set up authentication to your app and go to production within just few minutes hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next time bye bye